What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we have another great magic review that's right planned for you. And it comes from a newer creator. That's right. We're going to be looking at the Changing Cards by Richard Young. So, buckle in your seatbelts. We're going there. Let's go. Right, so what is changing cards? Changing cards is going to allow you just limitless possibilities when it comes to changing cards, okay? Now, this effect was originally made famous from Bob Swaddling. If you're not familiar with Bob Swaddling, uh, he's just an enormous uh, creator in Dame and Magic. He's done things such as Bob's Box, uh, which is his own touch on the Aikido coin box and things. He's done numerous other things for the community as well. But uh, Richard was granted access as well as full licensing on using the changing card uh, from Bob, uh, which is why he's able to uh, print these, uh, which is great, by the way. Um, but it allows you limitless possibilities. So, you know, the, you can do so many things, whether it be from changing one card to another, uh, whether it be, uh, you know, changing the back design on a, on a card, just the color uh, and whatnot. Uh, like I said, if you go to the website, he has over, I believe it's 22 or 24 different possibilities uh, in different things that you can choose from. Um, and these all range from anywhere from 20 pounds uh, all the way up to 60 pounds, uh, which is, you know, roughly about 63, 65 US. Uh, so it gets a little bit pricey depending on your choice of what card you want to pick. Now, there is, like I said, a lot of different possibilities and those range from, you know, his newest creation, with the, which is card to American Express, or you can also get American Express to card. Um, which is what I was sent. Uh, you can also get the original, which is just the card to another card, uh, which is another one that he also sent out to me, which was, I believe, a six of spades to my favorite card, which is the three of hearts, uh, which is awesome, by the way. I don't know if he knew that was my favorite card, but pretty cool little touch. Um, you can do everything from create your own custom card as well as get, you know, multiple changing of cards, uh, mentalism, you can get blank cards that you can write on, uh, different things like that. So, you know, like I said, the possibilities really are endless at that point, you know, so there's an option out there for everyone. So as I already went over, what do you get? What do you get? So like I said, you're gonna get this beautiful kind of packaging here, and then you're also going to get a down, well, not a download, it's gonna be more of a streaming code. It's gonna take you basically to the website. It's gonna give you a password. You're gonna type in that little password on your computer or your cellular device, whatever you're on, and it's gonna take you to this video. It's gonna be a 10 minute video kind of going over everything. He also invites a guest, Harry DeCruz, another fellow magician, a gentleman that he kind of, you know, went to in the very early stages of this process when he was just learning to make these. And, you know, he, he kind of came up with some different effects and stuff and, you know, different ways to utilize these cards. That's the reason why also once you go on the website, you'll see Harry DeCruz's name on there as well for some of the cards that he kind of helped not design, but kind of helped design the effects to go along with them. So that's the reason why you'll see his name on there as well. So, like I said, 10 minute video, well shot. Uh, it's gonna have Richard, he's gonna be in this darkened studio. Uh, it's all in HD. He's gonna be going over this as well. Uh, and like I said, he invites Harry on also. So now the packaging that this comes in is very beautiful, might I say, uh, very nice, well put together. I wasn't expecting this kind of packaging, this kind of experience when opening just a couple of playing cards. Uh, so it was very nice to see somebody really take their time and efforts into kind of giving you a full experience rather than just saying, here's your cards. Thank you for your money. 
great transaction, now move on. Um, but you get this nice, very nice, uh, you know, well-printed, clear uh, card stock. It's almost, uh, you know, it's, it flips open. I don't want to show you guys the uh, code, but, you know, it, it once you open it up here, let me block this off. It's going to say, you know, watch the video instructions for your swaddling changing card before opening it so that you don't break it. As you can see, it's going to have the playing card up there split. And then you're going to get this little envelope. Okay. I'll block it off with that. Uh, you're going to get this little red envelope that's adhesed to the little postcard here. It's going to say, see the full range of changing cards at changingcards.com. Uh, inside, you're going to have the cards that you ordered. In my case, the two that he sent. Uh, on the back, and also too, you're gonna have these two little red seals at the bottom here, okay? Really nice, so it comes sealed. And on the back, it's gonna say, Richard Young is the sole rights holder for mouth, uh, mouth, ah, can't even talk. Richard Young is the sole rights holder for manufacturing all variations of Bob Swaddling's changing cards, all rights reserved changingcards.com uh, so like I said the packaging is very well very nice I like that you're spending the money 20 all the way up to 60 uh, pounds like I said that's a big price to pay it's nice to see that you get good packaging for it as well the cool thing about this is you can actually rip that little uh, red envelope off you can place this in a wallet you can put this anywhere that you want safe so not nothing happens to it which is great so you want to know how well are they made so I have the two cards here like I said I have the six of spades to the three of hearts as you can see the cards by themselves this is what they end up being so whatever you order it's gonna come as its finished change so just to give you a little little uh, show here so to speak mine goes from the six of spades right six of spades up to the three of hearts um as you can see i got the red bicycle so yeah um the other one that he sent like i said was the card the playing card to american express as you can see it looks just like a american express um now, of course, because this is the size of a credit card, um, you're going to see that this is very much smaller um, compared to the actual playing card. OK, so it's going to be more bridge size when you look at it. And the cool thing is when this is folded to the playing card, you're going to actually get the back design as well. It's not going to just have the front. OK, and like I said, this one here goes from playing card this one being the six of spades all the way to all the way to the american express still learning it of course um very well made like i said the minute you hold these you feel that durability in them so that's always a great thing for sure so a couple questions i'm sure you guys have of course is is it practical and the other one, which is probably the million dollar question is, can it be handed out? So let's take care of the first one. Is it practical? Yes, it is practical in a way. Um, we all love transpos, right? This is another way to step up your transpo game. So if you're somebody that's not really keen on sleight of hand, this kind of takes care of it for you, which is great. Um, but also, on the other hand of this, this goes along with that million dollar question of, can it be handed out? Yes and no, but I lean more towards no, um, only because the more that somebody tries to fiddle with it, uh, if that's the case, they're going to easily come to the conclusion of what the card is, especially because of the thickness, the weight of it, things like that. It doesn't feel exactly like a card. Now, with that said, I want to say that on the other end of the spectrum, you have the American Express card that they just introduced, like I said, that I have. That one's a little bit different because that one is the shape, the size, the weight, 
everything kind of you know coincides with that of a credit card so that's one thing that i can say i would say if any of them could be handed out i would definitely say maybe the american express but on the other end of it i would say this is more kind of more kind of aimed at the video magician instagram things like that um, or at a distance, do the change, boom, kind of, you know, have another card copped or switch it out for the actual card. That way you can then hand out a card if that's what you're worried about. That's how I am. I like things that you can hand out. So if it's to the point where it bothers you that much, like I said, all you have to do is carry that extra card on you that's an actual playing card, and then you can go ahead and hand that out for inspection. So... All right, so my final thoughts on these cards. I like them. I like them a lot. Um, I got to say, quick disclaimer, um, I didn't get what I asked for for this one. Um, I did want the opposite to this. So this is card to Amex. I wanted Amex to card. And I was very vocal with Richard about this uh, before he sent these out. I told him, listen, I respect what you're doing. I want to say I'm very grateful for, for what you're doing. I don't want to come off like a, a, an ass and be like, oh, I'm picky. You know, it's free. No, wasn't trying to do that at all. I was just trying to let him know, hey, I already have a planned routine with using Amex to card. If you could possibly please send that one instead, because I don't want you to send me something that I'm not going to use. You know, this is $40 card, I believe. Um, you know, it's not cheap. And I wanted, he puts in this time and effort in building these by hand, each one. And I don't want him to put all this TLC and extra time and efforts and labor and all this stuff into something that I'm just gonna review and then toss away. No pun intended. Um, so that's kind of a letdown in a way. But like I said, I'm very grateful for having these. Um, and being in the position to be able to have people reach out and send me these products. Um, but very well made. Now, I will touch on something. There are a couple of things, a couple of people that I've been talking to that have had some issues um, that they're trying to get resolved. I'm not going to get into the details. That's not what this is about. But yeah. But other than that, like I said, very well made. Uh, I was very surprised actually on how well made these were. Uh, almost too well made in a way. Uh, and I know that kind of sounds a little funny, but it's the truth. Um, but great product. Like I said, if you're willing to, uh, you know, spend the money and if you're in the, the, the field to, to looking for something that's going to up your magic game, help you kind of kind of move forward and kind of have something cool that you can just break out at a party at a at a second's notice and and kind of blow some minds real quick. This is definitely the product for you. Um, but yeah. I mean, that's really all I can say about these. Um, the only other thing that I would say is I wish the, the Amex was a little bit more realistic, you know, and this kind of touches back on what I said about being able to hand these out. Uh, the, the printing's a little blurry in the sense of it's not as clear as a credit card. I do wish they, I, 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 to be honest, I thought he used a almost a real template for a card. Like I thought it was embossed and stuff like that. And I get it, there are limitations to being able to do that kind of stuff. I guess I just wish that, you know, maybe he put a, a, a flattened, like almost like a replica looking chip in it to kind of give it some more character, maybe uh, something, you know, there, there's ways to do stuff. Um, but other than that, amazing. I mean, really. So no complaints here at all. Great, besides the fact that I didn't get what I was hoping to get. But nonetheless, awesome. I'm glad to own these and I will cherish these for a long time to come. So, yeah. So, I do want to thank Richard Young for allowing me to have these so I could do the review for you. And if you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you beautiful people on the next one. Richard Young is the sole rights holder for Mal... <laughs> Richard Young is the sole rights holder for Man... <laughs> what the shit? Ah, can't talk. Manufacturing. Um... <laughs> uh, Alright.